Mm-hmm. He was uh, down at TDC. And uh, he said they was asking him, ain't you from Dallas? Don't you know who DOC is? They spoke. He cold. He was, whoa. My brother said, I don't know who the. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't never heard of him, you know. He said he was in the day room. They, they yelled at me on TV. He came in and looked at the TV <laughs> and saw me up there rapping. And he said to himself, look at God. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I went to uh, my cousin. Uh, now, I got this message uh, from a guy that I consider my brother. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I grew up with this dude. Uh, uh, when I first started rapping, you know, um, I went to LA. He got into uh, the, the dope game, of course, and got locked up. I wasn't DOC. I wasn't even Doc T when, <laughs> when we started. Yeah, you know, tearing up his mama shit. But uh, I, like I said, I escaped to California. Nobody knew I'm out there. Mm-hmm. He was uh, down at TDC. And uh, he said they was asking him, ain't you from Dallas? Don't you know who DOC is? They spoke. He cold. He was, whoa. My brother said, I don't know who the. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't never heard of him, you know. He said he was in the day room. They, they yelled at me on TV. He came in and looked at the TV. <laughs> And saw me up there rapping. And he said to himself, look at God. Right? Man. Mm-hmm. So this dude is the dude, 15 years in and out, who unlocked that book for me. As I, and I know you got to understand it because yeah. you wouldn't pull that, yeah. that, yeah. that scripture yeah. out right there. I, I you know keep pulling them because I live it. Hey, man, look at him. And once you understand that, you can let a lot of the bullshit go. You That's really, so true. You, you really can't. That's so true. I, yeah. I mean, I I always, you know, I didn't think it was that easy because when, when I first went through my my transfiguration, is what mm-hmm. I call it, my transformation, mm-hmm. my metamorphism. Mm-hmm. When I changed, it was crazy to me because, it was crazy to me because when I changed, I'm going to be real with you, I didn't think that a person could change. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And I was gone. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, the thing is, but when I changed, everybody laughed at me. It was a bunch of people laughed at me, but I didn't even care no more. They do that. I was. They said I'd drink again. I ain't had a drink in 27 years. I, I made a vow. See, there ain't nothing wrong with drinking. But when you make a vow to God about drinking, and you know that that's one of the things that, that one of your vices, you 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 tend to say, you know what, I'm, I'm done. And, and That's so funny you say that, man, because really I didn't want to be rude to you for, for offering it to me. No, yeah. But I don't drink no more, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that's that, good. man. I, I gave it, I you gave gave it, it up. Back. Yeah, I gave it back to him. You just kind of lose the taste for it. Oh, man. Because it don't, it don't. It's it's not a, it, it doesn't fill your spiritual void. That's yeah, the Darren bro. show. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just too much bullshit associated with, with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You start hanging around motherfuckers and you can see how they act. Man. When they get that all in them and you think, damn. <laughs> I did it. You know what I'm saying? That was me. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know I mean? man, congratulations, man. Because like I said, it's a big move because it's going against what everybody else is so, you know, they so become it becomes everyone, you know. Yeah. And ain't nothing wrong with it. Like I always tell people, I buy it for everybody. But at the end of the day, I choose to do it different. And you know that's what I say. Yeah, I and people always it. tease them about they it. They mess with me they about that, but I don't care. Yeah. Man, look here, damn everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.